last January, January 2021, I was um, quite ill, um, had some uh, stomach pains just after Christmas. Um, and I just assumed it was food poisoning because I was ill for a couple of days and overeating or what have you. So I went to bed um, on New Year's Eve, felt very, very ill um, and um, started hallucinating um, and having uh, double visions and stomach cramps and what have you. I thought I was fine. I kept saying to my wife, I'm OK, or go. But then I just felt worse. And um, New Year's Day, she said, what, I'm taking you to the hospital. Went into A&E um, and they took me in, had some tests. I was in the waiting room and the doctor was, after the test, he was trying to look for me. In the waiting room, he couldn't find me. So he phoned my wife and said to my wife, you know, we need to find your husband because he's, um, his bowels eruptured. And she called me and said, where are you? And I said, I'm in the waiting room. I was in a little alcove around the corner. Um, and they said that the doctor said, if they don't find you within 12 hours, you're, you're going to die. But what I didn't know at the time, it was um, my bowel had ruptured and it was sepsis um, was, was in the bloodstream. And they would have to do um, repair my my bowel. And uh, January the third, I went in hospital and had the had the um, stoma. It's it's impacted me in so far that initially I wasn't comfortable around people. I, it took me a long time to get used to it. Um, I used to play basketball quite a lot and go out quite a lot, and um, and I didn't go out anymore. I, I tended to stay in um, things that I used to take for granted, um, just basically going to the shops or going to a restaurant. Um, I had to second guess it and think, well, I've got the bag. If something upsets my stomach, uh, if they haven't got to, you know toilet facilities or what have you, so things like that, you you tend to um, to second guess everything now. I felt quite embarrassed overall, very embarrassed initially, um, and 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 ashamed to a degree. I, I said I wouldn't go anywhere. I didn't go anywhere for about two months. Well, my wife did change in the bags quite a lot because um, I couldn't move really or get, get to do it. And one day she was downstairs, like her mother had to come round to see her. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this myself. I didn't change it as well as I thought was. I was lying flat on my back and took it off. And, you know, all the, the much basically went everywhere, all over the bed. And that was really, really embarrassing. Um, um, and my wife, she, she just came up and she was, she, you know, she, she just went, don't worry about it, I'll do it. You know, like she always does, but that really did, did bring it home that how sorry, helpless, quite helpless I was at the time, um, having to rely on someone else. Because if you bottle things up, it makes it worse. So I started a blog um, just to share my experience, to, you know, for my own personal, um, my personal experience. So I started just writing down what I felt, uh, what I was going through, how it impacted, you know, um, other people. Um, and I went on a lot of social media sites. I didn't realise how common it is, people who've had ostomates and stomas. Um, and once you sort of see it's, you're not alone and you can share your experience with other people, that helps a lot. Um, I think it's critical to talk, even if you don't talk to the wider audience, just talk to family or close family and friends, um, or even go on those, these social media sites because you can put stuff on it um, anonymously now. Talk Talking about... Um, Toilet habits, poo, whatever, um, um, is natural. Everybody does it. No one can escape from it, uh, regardless of you're rich, poor, whatever it may well be. Um, talking about it is is common. So the more people talk about it, the more people share about it, it just becomes normal. Um, my advice to people who, who think they've got something wrong with, it, with their bowel, if you've got any sort of concerns, it's better to get them checked out and then to leave it too late. Mm -hmm.